from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Son of a bitch wants her identified. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? She took a blow to the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Leave me to do my job, detective. Catch all the good ones, Phelps. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Kiss the blood, BD. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Is only 21 years old. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered. Yeah, baby. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but... Clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. 
Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Cowboy. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Look at that. Smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Okay, we have an address. arm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. <laughs> Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh no! She can't be. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. A little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. 